Hi everybody, this is Alchemist 2, and I'm back again with another sorry, <laughs> book review. My brain always moves faster than my tongue, excuse me. Uh, recently I read Beyond Belief, Gospel of Thomas. Actually, it's the secret Gospel of Thomas, and um, <laughs> do you know anything about the Apocrypha or the Pseudoepigrapha? Uh, the reasons why these weren't published along with the Deep Sea Scrolls, I mean Dead Sea Scrolls, sorry, and um, the, the Scrolls of the Essenes, which have only just been found. They're, they're publishing them, but they were never put into the, the book when, when uh, the Bible was first printed by Gutenberg. It was uh, the church's idea. Yeah, don't get me started with that. What should stay, what should go, and what's considered proper. And I think at the time, uh, the understanding would not have allowed this because it was within the um, within the society's comprehension that women were not equal to men, unfortunately. And it. Uh, the Kabbalah actually speaks of the, the male and the female spirit, and also Thomas speaks of this, and it's very Kabbalistic in that manner. Uh, so it's Buddhist in a way, if you think about it. If you understand your own pain, if you're able to comprehend your pain that you're going through, you can overcome your pain. It's a very Eastern way of thought. Uh, also, there are some other aspects that I thought were very fascinating with this book, even though it's very short. It, it contains the Gospel of Thomas, which is, is very uh, brief, and uh, actually, it's the book itself starts on page 227, and it is only... One moment. There's only 114 verses, and it's extremely <laughs> brief. It's just, uh, it's ex it's really intriguing as well. And it's there's one part in here that I really liked when um, the disciples were talking about uh, Salome, and they said, uh, you know, she's below us. She's a woman. Uh, how will she ever? enter the kingdom of heaven and Jesus says I will teach her how to become a man and that way she can enter the kingdom of heaven with us for those who make themselves and for for those women who um, convert themselves into a man will have entry to the kingdom of heaven and <laughs> yeah, it's bizarre but it's just that understanding of the two the duality of the yin and the yang and it's again Eastern philosophy and I thought well how intriguing is that and it's just uh, very different and unique well well not to the Easterners but to um, to the people of that time I think the Kabbalists understood that more than anybody else and I know that uh, the Church of Rome when they were thinking of Gospels to put into the Bible like I said they didn't include this because at the time, women were considered second-class citizens, as they still are in many countries that, that have that closed mindset. But it's, uh, I think this is a very freeing gospel, and it's, I just like the, comprehens the comprehensiveness of it and just uh, how mystical it is and uh, the uh, understanding of spirit in and of itself. I mean, there's no... Um, gender associated with spirit. It's just the way that we understand it because of our finite uh, brains. And uh, if you're interested in a book such as this, I mean, you can get it from Edward R. Hamilton for next to nothing or eBay. And the price is good. So I would definitely look into getting it if you're intrigued about the, the topic itself. And uh, it's uh, Gnosticism as well as the, uh, the interpretation of uh, the different Gospels and how the Gospels differ one from another. And Thomas could have been said to have been more impulsive than Peter even was 
and in the other gospels he's referred to as one of the twelve and John is the only gospel that uh, singles him out as being the doubter and uh, but he makes up for that when he says my lord and my god after he, he puts his fingers in, in Jesus' hands and his side and believes and uh, one of the things I really like about that gospel in particular has nothing to do with the gospel of Thomas but uh, when uh, Jesus actually redeems him and he says how blessed are those who have, who have not seen and still believe and uh, that concerns all of us who are uh, outside of our uh, our roots from uh, Judaism and uh, I just I just think it's a really fascinating book it's a short read it's like I said it's only 200 one moment 242 pages long unless you count the index and the index itself is to 57 so it's a very short read and it's well worth it so if you want to uh, kind of veer off your usual path of uh, reading and, and get into some pretty esoteric stuff and that's the book for you <laughs>